Hey, political enthusiasts! Welcome back to another election update. Today, we're diving into the growing troubles for Republicans in North Carolina as Vice President Kamala Harris expands her campaign war chest. As the 2024 election cycle heats up, Democrats are feeling pretty optimistic about flipping North Carolina, a traditionally Republican-leaning state. Kamala Harris's campaign believes they've got a real shot here, thanks to a robust Democratic infrastructure and the controversial figure of Republican candidate Mark Robinson. Here's the interesting part. North Carolina has a history of electing Democratic governors while supporting Republican presidential candidates. But things might be changing. With a surge in younger, more center-left voters anticipated this time around, and Harris's focus on ground-level campaigning, the Democrats are hoping to shift the balance in their favor. So why is this so important? Well, the outcome in North Carolina could have significant implications for the overall presidential race. If Harris can secure a win here, it could be a game changer. Now let's look at the broader campaign landscape. A recent New York Times Siena College poll shows former President Donald Trump leading in key sunbelt states like Arizona, Georgia, and yes, North Carolina. But a lot of voters are still on the fence, which means the race is far from over. On the fundraising front, Harris received a major boost, raising $27 million at a Wall Street fundraiser. This financial windfall is crucial for keeping her campaign competitive in the coming months. Meanwhile, Mark Robinson's campaign for North Carolina governor is facing some turbulence. Key aides resigned after a CNN report highlighted some pretty controversial remarks from his past. This is definitely shaking things up. Adding fuel to the fire, Harris is calling for a second debate with Trump, who hasn't agreed to participate yet. A debate could be a big deal, offering both candidates a platform to present their visions and directly engage on critical issues. Speaking of controversies, let's talk about Trump's rally in North Carolina. It was overshadowed by a growing scandal around his chosen gubernatorial candidate, Mark Robinson. Robinson's inflammatory remarks found on a porn website have led to calls for him to withdraw from the race. Despite the pressure, Robinson remains defiant. And interestingly, Trump didn't mention him during the rally. Harris's campaign is seizing the moment, launching an ad that directly ties Trump to Robinson, emphasizing Robinson's extreme anti-abortion stance. This controversy is creating a rift within the Republican Party. Some members are distancing themselves from Robinson, worried that the scandal could spill over into other races, including Trump's own presidential bid. Republican responses vary. Ohio Senator J.D. Vance thinks public opinion will decide the outcome, while Senator Tom Tillis is urging Robinson to take responsibility if the allegations prove true. This situation in North Carolina is fluid and full of twists, injecting a lot of uncertainty into the gubernatorial race. It's definitely something to keep an eye on as we move closer to Election Day. That's all for today's update. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more election insights. Stay informed and see you next time.